Xiaomi is starting to give us lots of official information about the specific specs in the Mi 10 Pro, all of the intricate details, and it's all good news so far. A couple of days ago, we got this leaked image of a promo poster of the Mi 10 series. It detailed some of the specs of the device that we should be getting, for example, a 100 megapixel camera, stereo speakers, 50 times zoom, but I actually made a mistake with one of the specs that is coming, and it wasn't because I translated the Chinese wrong. Surprisingly, that was all correct. So where did I make the mistake? It wasn't in the Chinese. It was actually in the one thing you'd think I'd get right, which is the number before the resolution of the video. It's so blurry and it's impossible to make out, but I knew it wasn't a four, so I assumed it was 6K video. The reason I assumed it was 6K is because Xiaomi are using this 108 megapixel camera sensor made by Samsung called the HMX. According to the official information for the HMX, it is only capable of recording 6K video. I therefore assumed it would be 6K, but I was wrong. We can see now it isn't even 6K. The Mi 10 Pro is giving us 8K video recording. This is insane. This is also a really important thing to find out because it gives us an idea of what Xiaomi are gonna do with the cameras. We can be certain that this HMX 108 megapixel image sensor cannot record 8K. Therefore, Xiaomi won't be using that to record 8K video. They'll be using one of the other lenses or image sensors. There are four image sensors in the setup. So we've got the 108 megapixel camera, the secondary image sensor, which would usually be a 2X zoom, I think, they're gonna put a high megapixel image sensor under that camera lens. Instead of being a normal 2X zoom, I think that will be a normal wide angle camera that they will shoot 8K video on. And it will also double up as a zoom camera by Xiaomi cropping in on the high megapixel image sensor to give us a 2X zoom. This is exactly the same as what Samsung are doing in the S20 and S20 Plus actually having a 12 megapixel main image sensor and a secondary sensor that is very high in megapixels and resolution. On those phones, it's 64 megapixels. That will be used for 8K video in those phones and they will also crop into the sensor to achieve a longer zoom range. We must assume that Xiaomi are doing this. Their main sensor cannot record 8K, but we can see from these promo images, there is 8K video recording on the Mi 10 Pro. So that's two of the lenses. We can also assume there's an ultra wide and the extra lens may even be a further zoom lens. We know there's 50 times zoom. So the extra lens could be a 5X zoom lens. That's my theory for now. There are no specific leaks on this, but looking at 8K video, it is the only possible explanation for how Xiaomi are gonna do this. More official information from Xiaomi is that Wi-Fi 6 will be in the Mi 10 series. Both the Mi 10 and the Mi 10 Pro will be getting this, and they say it's capable of transfer speeds up to 9.6 gigabytes per second. To put that into some context, it's 2.7 times quicker than Wi-Fi 5, and 16 times quicker than Wi-Fi 4. Xiaomi gave us some illustrations of how quick it would be downloading some things, for example, PUBG. They put it up against the Mi 9 to show you just how much quicker it is. Yes, this does look really cool, very impressive, but of course, Wi-Fi and download speeds depend on many other things than just in the phone. They also gave us way more information about UFS 3.0 storage, which will be coming in all of the Mi 10 phones. Xiaomi actually said that they've used a new technology along with UFS 3 to give it a speed boost. According to them, UFS 3 has transfer speeds of around 530 megabits per second. Using their technology, which they call Write Turbo, they can boost this up to 730 megabits per second. They also proved this with a benchmark picture and they also compared it to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G, Huawei's latest flagship phone, saying it was way quicker than that. That phone only uses UFS 2.1. As a side note, UFS 3.0 isn't brand new. It has been out for a while in phones. Uh, the Realme X2 Pro, which is a flagship killer, came out at the tail end of last year. That has it too. It's not brand new, but it is the latest version. It will be replaced by UFS 3.1 in a few months time, but that isn't ready for phones right now. And some more information on Xiaomi's LPR DDR5 RAM that they'll be using in all of the Mi 10 phones. Coming from Micron Technology and Samsung, depending on which phone you get. According to Xiaomi, you will get five to 10% better battery life out of using this RAM. So does that mean battery life in the phone is going to be better? Not necessarily. There's so many other things that affect battery life, like the screen and the brand new processor, which is gonna be more power hungry. We also got a Geekbench 5 benchmark test result today for the Mi 10 Pro. 
It's looking really powerful. A single core score of 904 and a multi core score of 3290. If we compare that to, for example, the S20 phones that we'll be using, the Snapdragon 865, those versions, it compares extremely well against those phones. There's no reason why it shouldn't. It has the same processor and a lot of the same hardware inside. And just to finish off, there was a leak online about some possible prices of the Mi 10 series and the setups too. I must report on this because it is news and it has been leaked. These prices may be what they're coming at, but I'm not entirely sure that this is real. I think we'll have to wait a little while until we get some more accurate prices for the Mi 10 series. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.